Hello, hello everyone. My name is Linda Gunnar. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events in around the Philadelphia area. We do full service, partial, month of coronations. We do custom events. We do destination weddings. I am a master certified wedding planner and a certified florist. I have over 10 plus years in the wedding industry. I started my brand as a passion and a hobby, and I turned it into something that I love and into a business, and it has grown over the years, and I'm extremely grateful we are even extended to doing events all around the globe. And I'm very excited that along the way, I've met some great people, some great vendors, and great business owners, and just people in general, and I am extremely grateful. So today we're going to continue what we're talking about the last talk about some cost for wedding flowers. How much is cost? We stop on you know the idea of budget from your the structure for your ceremony. How much is cost? Can anything range from fifteen hundred to four thousand? We talk about centerpieces can range anything from twelve hundred to six. This is just the average cost. Um, of course, it can get higher based on the flower. A lot of things that go into it that can impact your floral budget. So today I'm going to continue on some ways that you can save money um, on doing your flower arrangement. Um, and one way that you can save money on your budget is missing expensive flower and expensive flowers. So you can do a lot of things. So for example, if you want these beautiful roses that sometimes, you know, that price is a little costly, you can mix them up too with filler flower from stocking flowers. You can also make it mix it up with um, greenery, so that way you use less of the flowers. And if the greenery fill up and they give it like an accent, so it kind of stand up, it spark up a little bit, it kind of make it look more elegant and look different. So you use a lot because think about it, a large, a large centerpiece of flowers can take anywhere from fifty or more stem roses. So if you just want order, you can fill it up with baby breath, you can fill it with um, silver dollar um, firm, eucalypt, the hydrogen. You can mix it up with a lot of things that kind of will cost your flowers down. So mix it up with inexpensive roses. That's one way you can bring it down. Another thing you can also do high and low. So like for example, you may have a big centerpiece and a small one. Or maybe you may have a big centerpiece with then a candle statement or something, maybe a glass setting or something like that. And to alternate your flowers so that way you don't use so much flowers and you, your budget will be eliminated a little bit. So you can use candle sculptures, you can use uh, smaller, bigger, larger. All those things can help your, your wedding budget. And another option is... Another idea is that you can use lighting, light, lights to make it different along your, your thing. And like I said, you can use anything from candles, you can use um, lights, fixtures, and things to kind of just accentuate your budget, um, make your cost lower. So those are some of the things alongside your arrangement. It kind of add a different element to it and a twist, and you can use different things like that to kind of make it stand out. And then one of the things that most couples do, some couples do, and it all based to, um, I would say if you are going to do this, um, is reuse the flower for your ceremony to your reception. That's not a problem, but you also have to factor in delivery costs. Because if your florist is transferring it from that location to, from one location to another location, one, you have to make sure that the venue is closed. You don't want them to be traveling with the flowers that are already preset for our distance. If it's in the same venue, it's really convenient. They can just move it on for one thing. But if your venue is far away, I would say just be careful with that. Transfer something to get, you know, flowers know how to. Make sure you have the right flower book and transport and make sure everything look exactly the way it is. But I would not recommend um, have it going from such a far distance uh, because they put it in the van, they already transfer it, already set up, and then go through the thing. But that's just one way from your car but if it's in the same space it's easy to transfer you don't have to go a long way you don't have to do into a different climate change or temperature especially if you are using flowers more sensitive to um, lighting colors and different things so i would say those are the options that to do 
And another thing is that choose flowers that are in season. Um, if flowers is in season, it's cheaper. If they are out of season, it's like for example, let's say if you want um, tulips and it's not tulip season, there might be some vendors that have it, but it might cost you a little bit more than what you pay. If you want catalytics, if you want, so based on your wedding season, when you are getting married, try to use flowers and things that grow, and especially something that locally grown. If it's something that locally grown within that era, it's cheaper. You don't have to worry about getting something outside of the country where you have the transport so all of that factor into the cost too as well so uh, my recommendation is that that's another way to save on your flow or budget and just keep that in mind and another thing that helps also with your budget is that cut down the variations so like for example the more variation of flowers that you have the more different flowers you have the different cost and pattern so if you say oh well you know what i want to use um mums roses um stocking flowers hydrangeas um and eucalyptus so the more variation you have because you think about it now if you are getting these different flowers you have to get the same thing kind of similar to give it the statement piece so instead of buying maybe 200 flowers you might have to buy 200 of the same kind of flowers just to go over um to make it you stand out the same because there's no point of buying a flower that will have one in there or two in it you want to have at least six or more in there so cut down the, the variations of flowers and the different flowers that you do use and it will, it will save your budget and another option is that to use plants um, you can use plants to your wedding and there are a lot of different things you can consider using potting plants you can use herbs and I see people use vegetables I see people use fruits um, there's a lot of plants that you can use to essentially your wedding, especially based on the style of wedding that you're having. Um, if you're doing a fall, you're doing the summer, you're doing the spring, all season, there's a lot of plants that grows and they are just beautiful and they just stand out. So you can really utilize those things as well. It will be a lot cheaper. It will help with your flow of budget and do. And one of the things that most important is be open-minded and ask your florist for help because the florist this is something that they do every single day they work with different flowers to know where they breathe and lift it they know what flowers they wear even if they don't know what they will they deal with these growers and vendors that can help them give the information they, these are things that they'll ask for advice if you don't know because sometimes there are clients that come to me with a lot of flowers idea and budget and things that they want and looking at the budget my first question is like what is your budget and if you have a budget that does not go along what your goals are, you have to do two things. Either change that around or bring more money. Because it's it's not something it just will magically appear. So if you want to set in look and you want to set in things, you have to be very careful, um, take advices from people. And I have sometimes have a client when it comes to picking the floors and the floor arrangement, it's like, oh my God, I didn't know that was expensive. I just thought because I went with this thing, it's gonna be expensive. Or because I went with greenery and it just gonna save me money and I'm gonna do a lot. No, there's a lot of things that impact the kind of flowers you use, the kind of greenery you use, the cost really changes up. So ask for advice on your floors to tell and say, hey, I need to know what flowers is in season, what it is that I can do to lower my budget and get things done and another thing is that i'm just going to try to see if i can finish it because it's like a couple more left um so like a venue that's naturally beautiful like for example i had a client who was getting married um, recently the church was beautiful there was nothing that i needed to do the church was naturally the element of the church was pretty there was no need for anything so it saved her a huge a lot of money on her reception or her ceremony space that she didn't even have to do another thing is that you you don't have to like your whole reception space don't have to be floated with flowers you can do a lot of things to eliminate it um your sweetheart table it can be a little thing that accent there's a lot of design element that you can use to bring your venue to life so as i said take your advice from your florist do your research look online to see what's easy in season what's not easy in season, and trust me you will find things that will help you. 
but that is all for today those are the few things that i can help you i hope this was helpful once again my name is linda gunner i am the ceo and founder of linda professional creations please like share and subscribe to my channel you can follow me on my website at www.lindaperfectcreationsevents.com. Thank you. Have an amazing day.